you have to focus on the positive because otherwise it will it will get the better of you and that's all that's all I've tried to do in this situation it took me took me a while to come around to that sense of thinking but I'm, I, I mean I'm there now and I'm hoping I've still got the odd fear that I might fall back into the previous pit of despair I was in but I'm hoping it, I'll stick with it and you know stay positive <laughs> I did a pregnancy test, mm. <laughs> but it was positive. <laughs> um, yeah, we were a bit shocked. Yeah. Are you done? Hello. 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 All right. Hello. I'm Wendy, one of the midwives, and Hello. this is Kaylee, my student. Hello. Have you ever been in before? So we need to see what's happening. So blood pressure, tissue, urine. Feel the baby's position. And we need to put a label on you while you're here as well, so you don't do get muddled just up. Just got your it. details on, just so we know okay. who you are. In terms of contraception, I just I wasn't the most cautious of people. Um, I think I under, underestimated the um, the importance of it. I think that's all I can really say. I didn't I didn't take it seriously enough, really. And you know that's part part of the reason we're in the situation we're in. See the belly button stuck yeah. right out. So yeah. you must be in a really good position with the back right out by the looks of it. I did feel like quite sad originally. I did think. Well, having a child would stop anything that I really wanted to do. I thought, you know, I'm going to miss this this freedom that I've got because I lived quite a party lifestyle. So it was um, at first there was that initial, yeah, I guess you could call it sadness about saying bye to that. I see in your bath plan that you wanted gas and air, didn't you, and to use the pool. Right, so gas and air. So as soon as the pain starts, as soon as you feel it building, mm -hmm. start using it or it doesn't work. OK. OK? Have a practice and just see what you feel. So bite on it. Nice big suck in. Keep it in your mouth and, and breathe out. out. So big breaths through your nose, out through your mouth. And just let your knees drop through my, apart. Through my nose. Through your nose and out through your mouth. <laughs> OK. Then keep it in your mouth. It's got a valve on it. Try again. <laughs> 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 she's drunk already. Oh, God. No, she's just don't call it laughing, gas or nothing. Yeah. Keep it in. That's it. And then we can put the girl in a proper room, can't we? So she can come straight down? Yes. Oh, I'm oh, going to find me a red pen, please. Black pens. I was worried that I'd pass out because I'm really squeamish. If I watch programmes and there's blood in it, I feel a bit faint sitting on the sofa. Even just going into a hospital to visit someone that's in hospital, as soon as I go in, I smell the hospital. I'm like, oh, I just hate the smell of hospitals. I hate being in hospitals. I'm just really, I'm the real worst. I've, I've been to like a doctor's point with my friends who've had like smear tests and stuff, and I've literally passed out on the floor and puked all over myself. I'm going to fill two fingers in some cold jelly. Okay, like I say, at any time it becomes too uncomfortable, just tell me to stop. Okay? It's going to start now. Some long, slow, deep breaths for me. Fantastic. Well done. Your baby's moving there. I can feel it just on the tips of my fingers. If it's OK with you, I'd like to get Joe to break your water, if that's all right. OK. I'm doing so well. So, so well. Just slide it along your fingers. That's it, the baby's head. And you turn it round so the hook's facing upwards. That's, That's it. it. And then just, yep, yeah, just give it a good feel round with your fingers. Make sure you can just feel the baby's head and nothing else. 
Nice clear water, so that's good. Are you alright lying down? Oh, no. do you <laughs> Sorry about this. Oh, I'm really used to it. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah, Good girl. Good push. How's that going? Brilliant. Well done. Stingy and stretchy. Okay, and that's good. I always used to think it was like a cliche woman crushing fingers when they're laid off. She's doing it. It's all right though. I'll do my bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to focus on the positive because otherwise, it will it will get the better of you. And that's all, that's all I've tried to do in this situation. It took me took me a while to come round to that sense of thinking, but. I'm, I mean, I'm there now, and I'm hoping I've still got the odd fear that I might fall back into the previous pit of despair I was in, but I'm hoping it, I'll stick with it and, you know, stay positive. Up into the top of your baby's head. Go on, keep it yeah, coming. Lydia, oh, fantastic. <laughs> brilliant, Lydia. Another big push oh, if it's still there. Brilliant. Normal to take about an hour for a first baby to push it out, okay? There's nothing that big's been through there before. Right, so it all needs to stretch, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> She's been doing it. I'm not commenting. Um, yes, yeah, so everything's got to stretch, okay? So it's all normal, okay? It's normal to take that long as well, okay? So you're going to feel her rocking backwards and forwards a bit at the moment. Tiny little push. Oh. You're trying to keep it just under the water. Just a bit more. That's it. You sort of sit yourself down. Oh. I think my boyfriend, he's not been ready to be a father, you know. And sometimes I think it may be better if, if I don't keep this baby. But uh, in the, the same time, I think, what I'm thinking, you know, this is my baby, it doesn't matter with, with, with who. Um, this is my baby. Three years ago, I finished school in Poland, and then the, my mom she brought me here, you know, when I doing the test, then told me I am pregnant. I doing another, <laughs> and the uh, next one I told them my mom, yeah, she doing like that. Oh, Amelia, <laughs> you are crazy and everything like that, you know. She's uh, happy, but um, she she's. Um, She's told me, no, with this boy, you know, the another boy with the, you know, better. So your partner's out, is he? Has he been out drinking? Yeah, he's drinking a bit yesterday. Right. He's sleeping now. Right. Car. Is it worth trying to call him again? Yeah, but I don't have the, any money yet. On your phone? Yeah. Do you want to try giving him a call if I give you a phone? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, can you see how I'm you got any questions at all? Why me? <laughs> <laughs> when I was 11 years old, I witnessed the birth of my sister's baby and I just thought it was an incredible experience to be part of. At that moment, I thought this could be a profession that I could certainly be interested in. I think people do think it's a little bit of a, a strange profession. My wife, for instance, immediately thought I must be gay if, if I'm a midwife. 
As a male midwife, you do run into quite a few problems. A lot of the time, people think I'm a doctor. Okay. Some of the people think I'm never going to know what it feels like to, to have a baby, so perhaps I'm not as good a support as a, as a midwife that has had children. I think that's ridiculous. Oh, my God. It's so okay? horrible. What, the feeling? Yeah. But think of at the end of it, you'll have a beautiful little baby. Do you know if you're having a girl or a boy? Boy. A boy. Yeah. Have you got a name? Russell. Russell? Yeah. It's not named after Daddy? No. No. I don't think he deserves it, really. <laughs> oh, my God. So I mean, you're doing fantastic, all right? I know it doesn't feel like it, you feel worn out, but you've done really well to get to seven centimetres without any pain relief at all. So this last bit should be pretty simple compared to the rest of it. And pretty soon you'll be able to give Russell a little cuddle. <laughs> It'd be all worth it, wouldn't it? I think my boyfriend, he's not been ready to be a father, you know. And sometimes I think it may be better if, if I don't keep this baby. But uh, in the, the same time, I think, what I'm thinking, you know, this is my baby, it doesn't matter with, with, with who. Um, this is my baby. Bringing a baby into the world is the most incredible thing, it really is. Seeing people's faces when their baby arrives after a long struggle is, yeah, it's pretty emotional and it's quite exciting. I feel all teary just talking about it. <laughs> Sorry. You want to try and phone? You OK? Daddy is going to be so disappointed he missed this. But yeah, I'll try giving him a call now. Oh, it's ringing. Hello. Michał? Michał? Właśnie urodziło ci się dziecko, No, a nie pierdoły robić. Nie, to, to kurwa nie pierdo, no. tylko weź przyjeżdżaj chłopie, bo jest jeszcze szybko. Na Cito. Co? Jak ci poszło? Nie, no, nie pytaj no, nawet. Siadaj. No dawaj, przyjeżdżaj. Tak. I'm brilliant. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> thank you. I'm really well. Yeah, thank you very much for your help. No problem. Hello. Are you the daddy? Yes. Yeah, this is the daddy, this is my brother. Oh, daddy and brother. Yeah. Well, check out Congratulations. Oh, my goodness. Got a camera? Oh, good. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh. 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 Yes. I think about my future, you know, what I can do when I have the baby. You know, I'm scared. This is a little bit hard for me, but uh, uh, I'm happy because I have a mom. <laughs> She's uh, helped me with everything. <laughs> She's uh, better than my boyfriend. <laughs> She's uh, amazing.
I do think, you know, having four kids and... All boys as well. All boys as well. So we've got another little boy coming now. No girls. You can't, you can't produce girls. As they say, you've got to be a man to produce a girl. <laughs> That's what uh, they say, don't they? <laughs> and we've known each other for years, me and David has. Well, I've known him since I was 30, and I met him just generally in a youth club. Got to know each other, played a little bit of hardball with him. <laughs> Hard to get, led him on for about a year and a half before I decided to be with David. <laughs> yeah. And made it very difficult for him at the beginning. Yes. Punished me. Punished him quite bad. I didn't even get a chance to shave my legs. Oh dear. <laughs> I never shave my legs. Right, so is that OK, my love? If I just have a little feel of your tummy? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then we'll get this monitor on just to see what you're up to with this little one. I'm get a chair and just sit there. Yeah. I'm do my head and if you're going to keep standing up. There you go, yeah. What are you going to call him? David. David. Baby David. Baby David. Baby David. So there's the 11 year gap between this bubby when he pops up and the next one up. We're more mature now. Yeah. And we've learnt from the other four. Yeah. I do think, you know, Having four kids and... All boys as well. All boys as well. So we've got another little boy coming now. No girls. You can't, you can't produce girls. As they say, you've got to be a man to produce a girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, what they say, don't they? <laughs> I did say she tortured me occasionally, didn't I? I think when, as of me growing up, it was just me, my sister and my dad growing up with and... You know, I suppose it was quite empty in the household, but I just loved the feeling of, you know, all the hassle and the bustle and when the kids get home from school, or, you know, it's just, you're never not bored. <sighs> Seven centimetres. Oh, I thought I was going to say about two. Two, three, go and come back later. I'm so fucking surprised. You can do this, Louisa. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, well, well done. done. Nothing's happening. It is happening. <laughs> He's just sitting down here now, <laughs> waiting to come out. Every time you push, it's stretching a bit more. He's not getting around that corner. He will do. He's coming around the corner. I mean, there's a time and a place to open your mouth, and there's a time to keep it quiet. When you're over house trying to push something out, that's the time to keep your mouth shut. Especially when they've got no epidural and they're already on gas and air. Are we ready? Yeah. We're ready, we're ready, ready. yeah. Go on, girl. Go on. Well, yes. It's just a tiny little person, isn't it? You know, this tiny little human being there, you know, and, and, and his whole life is set out for him already. It's all mapped out there for him, you know, what his future's going to be. I, d I just can't explain it. Oh, you little sweetheart. <laughs> David is baby David. It's baby, baby David. Baby David. <laughs> he was just so gorgeous. And then I saw his little blue eyes and that just completely made me up all together because all of them have got brown eyes, you know, and I've not had a blue boy yet, so I've got my little blue eyed boy now. <laughs> I do love being a mum. Best thing I ever did, having those kids. 
I've always wanted a big family. I originally wanted six kids. I do think to myself, maybe in five years, but no, Dave keeps saying no. <laughs> No, I think baby David is probably the last one for us. Odds are, the next one would be a boy as well. You could just see that coming. If we had another one after that, it'd probably be a boy again. So no, I think baby David's the last one. Say hello, mummy. It's an odd number. It's got to be even. You've got to have it even. If you have three, you've got to have four. If you have five, you've got to have six. It's got to be even. I want you to know, babe, that in the very small chance that anything goes wrong, that I love you very, very much. Nothing will go wrong. I love you, my darling. This reminds me of... This isn't the room that we had Maddie in, is it? I don't know. It looks like it to me, my babe. It might be. Oh. Deja vu. Well, I run a stage school, and uh, Lucy worked at a rival stage school, and <laughs> um, she was the singing teacher there, and I went out to help her to open evening, and uh, I saw the singing teacher there, and I thought, oh, yeah, she looks all right. You OK? All right, thanks. We discovered we'd both been to Warwick University at the same time. It turned out we were both in completely different productions of Guys and Dolls, but it didn't matter either. We missed each other. It's like sliding doors. We missed, missed each other at the university. It suddenly all seemed to be rush, rush, rush suddenly this morning. It's made me feel jittery. Um, at that point, I actually hadn't heard her voice, but Lucy has an amazing opera voice. Um, and uh, once I heard her voice, it was tingles at the back of my neck. Oh. And uh, yes, so nine months later, I proposed. <laughs> I love you, my darling. That was five years ago, and lots happened since then. Married, two children, and one more on the way. <laughs> right now, baby, you need to turn yourself the other way around, or there'll be trouble. You're <laughs> a great daddy, and this baby hasn't even been born yet. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm Debbie. Hi. Basically, what I've got to do is get you um, into a gown. OK. And prepare you as if for cesarean section, so to make sure you've got a couple of um, bands on. So I just water? stay here, shall yeah, I, until you've been comfortable? Is there anything that you need? Well, I've got my iPod with lovely, soothing music on it. Do would you be able to go and get it? That would, really, that would really help. What book would you like? My iPod and headphones. Um, Oh, the Maeve Binchy one. OK, I'll be back. Thank you, my baby. <laughs> so and James, my little, you know, little, it says it's a lip gloss, but basically it's the only lip balm I've got because my lips are cracking it. <laughs> Love you. Right, I'm also going to go. You're going to be all right on your own for a I'll few minutes? I'll be all right, thanks. Okay. Well done. Keep nice and calm. Thanks. I'm trying. You're doing brilliantly. You're doing very well. It's not playing the game, is it? No, yeah, it's, it's moving partly down mm. and then it's slipping out of my hands. Uh, so the, the baby's not moved. No, it's, it's not still, moved. Okay, I think it's probably okay. tried it several times. So. Mm. We tried, didn't we? Yeah, well, it's always worth trying, that's not how it's like. Okay, there may be a possibility that there may be cord around the baby's neck. We don't want there that. May be, there may be something around by that which the baby's neck. That's my last two babies, yeah. the cord around the neck. It's not how okay. Okay, let's get you back. Right. Let's try and see if you can get theatres off the okay, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. 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 Very small chance that anything goes wrong. I love you very, very much. Nothing will go wrong. I love you, my darling. Your coffee, all right? Oh, I haven't tasted it yet, Heidi. Mm -hmm. It will be one of them cold coffees. Coffee milkshake by the time I get it. Well, that's your fault then. I'm not making me enough. Well, I should tell the patients to go away. Oh, yeah, please, could you get the camera, babe? Yeah. 
so that we're all ready to go. If it is, it might be sooner than half day, even though. I'd really like to have photos with the bubble. Lights, camera, because action. I know if I have a general, you're not allowed in there with me, though. Oh, no. Oh, that's it. I want to take one of you in your scrubs, though. Hang on. Yes, I scrub up well. You do scrub up well. Oh, my hand's still shaking. What's the matter with me? <laughs> you look gorgeous, my babe. There you are. I knew there had to be right. some consolation. My oh, baby looking yeah. gorgeous. Feel blue eyes. Suits you, sir. Suits you. Yes. Come in. Hello, I thought we could hear voices. We are coming. Oh, James, not even the jitters. Would you like to walk round? Yes, please, while I still can. Okay. Hello. Hello. Is, is yep. James in here? Oh, there you are, James. <laughs> have they started? Not yet. Not yet. Oh. See, I should have bought my CD of happy songs. That would have been perfect. Saxon. Bad yeah. yeah. We think it might be a boy. Okay. We'll see. They've said a lot of breech babies uh, turn out to be boys. We'll be very happy so long as it's happy and healthy anyway. Don't mind which it is. I, I'm just sort of sore. You feeling all right? I'm all right, thanks. I feel a lot of pressure. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's a good sign, isn't it, if it's crying straight away now? Oh, hello! Darling, Benjamin. so much, both of you, the cord around that. But is, is he okay? It hasn't damaged him. He's absolutely lovely. He's so sweet. James, are you sure you don't want us to put the name James in? Benjamin Leo James. No. Are you sure? Because this might be... That this. I, I mustn't say must be our last baby. I nearly said might be, but I knew you'd get cross if I said that. We're not cross. No might. No, this is our lot, unless there's any accidents. We'll make sure there's not. <laughs>